Good morning traders, look watching the pound, continue to see whether there is any kind of sign of volatility as we see different members put their hat in the ring for the new Prime Minister gig. Uh, interesting that Ben Wallace has, has refrained from putting his hand in there, so that puts Rishi Sunak as the clear favourite in the market's eyes here at the moment for the moment. Uh, we are seeing that pound really just hovering and trying to you know, fade into the eight day exponential average, so we're, we're going to see that trying to break through there. Uh, in terms of central banks, we've got the RBNZ meeting on Wednesday. The market's looking for 50 basis points, as are the economists' consensus there. That shouldn't get too much of a move when we see that play out. But I think you've got to look at the statement. Do we get 390, which is what's being priced in by November? The Bank of Canada could be a bit more interesting. Um, the sort of economists are split between sort of 50, 75. You know, do we get 100 basis points? For the market, in terms of rates pricing, firmly of the belief that we get 75 basis points. And we've seen the CAD a quiet achiever recently, certainly against the euro. Dollar CAD, you know, has seen some sellers into 130.80. I'm not sure we get there anywhere near that this week, but we'll have to watch that one. In terms of the Fed, uh, we've got uh, speakers from uh, Williams, John Williams, we've got Barkin, we've got Waller, and uh, uh, Rafael Bostic as well. Uh, the market's firmly of the belief that we get 75 basis points in the July meeting, and that we should see the Fed funds rate up into 3%, probably by November, if not potentially even September. But it's really going to come down to this CPI print we've got midweek. The market's looking for that to be at 8.8%, uh, up 1.1% on the month on month print, and core to be at 5.7%. Now, the market is just firmly of the belief that if we're going to get a risk, it's going to be to the upside. That's what we see time and time again. It'd be interesting there if we actually saw a beast decent mess, say, uh, headline at 8.6%, that could put a cat amongst the pigeons and cause some vol. Uh, but the market is probably expecting that to be top side, probably 8.99% or so. We're watching what the driver of the US dollar is. There's been an interesting candle, as we can see on Friday. US real rates have been driving, but that correlation has dropped. Now we're looking at twos, fives, that curve as the big driver at the moment. You can see the big inverse relationship there. We've got earnings coming from JP Morgan in the US um, and Morgan Stanley. So we're watching those very closely indeed. The implied volatility for both the stocks around 3%. We're watching the NASDAQ as well. You know, can we break above that 50 day moving average? Can we break above that 27th of June swing high? We've got crude very much in focus and copper there as well. So another big week trading with Pepperstone.